Hey everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. It's a super exciting day here. I'm gonna load up my phone so I can see your comments. Um, let us know uh, where you're tuning in from, who you are. Emily's phone's not on silent. <laughs> It's always one. And then uh, usually it's Greg, so he's probably pleased that it wasn't him for once. Um, so welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today is Tuesday, I think. Um, it's going to be one of those weeks. If you didn't already know, we moved from Ohio to Florida last week. So it's been a huge week already. And tonight I'm going to be sharing something really exciting. The biggest thing I have ever done I'm super excited. So if I start talking too fast, you have to write it in the comments because I'm really excited and I tend to like speed up too fast. Um, but we are gonna make um, some really fun things. I'm gonna share with you some amazing things. I have special discounts for you. And I wanted Hedgehog followers on my YouTube channel to be the first to know because so many of you have stuck around from the beginning when we had one subscriber. We're about to hit 60 thousand subscribers so if you have crafty friends please do share hedgehog hollow with them um, i'm really excited we'll have a huge giveaway of course for sixty thousand. and um, we've got hedgehog hollow days coming up i went live about that the other day and i kind of teased a little bit about this and if you're in the last hedgehog hollow days then you'll know all about this um or you'll know some of this anyway so i'm really excited so many of you joining us greg of course is here and Emily is here and Ali's at home with the girls. Um, we are at our new studio. So um, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Hedgehog Hollow has its own range of crafty supplies. So there is a new company out there called Maker Forte, as my pinny shows. And I know the Hedgehog Hollow pinny was so coveted. Well, you can buy these. These are going to be available. The website is makerforte.com and they've set up code HH15, super simple. And uh, you can go over and shop. As soon as I show you all of this, you can add stuff to your cart. I'm going to show you. I pretty much have one of everything on the table and I'm going to share with you some things that are mine. They also have Alex Siberia designing for them, who is amazing. I love her stuff. She did a, a subscription box for us a while ago. And then they have their own range of signature supplies. And I am working for with part of Maker Forte. So I have helped choose and curate a lot of the different things here um, so I can share with you some insight into them. But I am so excited. Uh, we've got some amazing things. We have releases coming every single month. Um, and there is some really, really cool things as well. Does it ship worldwide? Yes, it does ship worldwide. Um, so uh, you can get it anywhere. They're gonna ship it everywhere. So let's start diving in. I'm going to show you my stamps first of all, and then I'm going to share with you there's mediums on the table. Um, there's all sorts of fun things. There's a couple of things I don't yet have, and they're being overnighted, so I can have those the next couple of days. So be sure that you have hit subscribe, rung the bell, all of those kinds of things, so that you can come and join us for tutorials because I've got so many different things to share with you. So I also have this super cool new switcher and I can now just switch camera views. Isn't that cool? So hopefully everything still works like this. Um, so this is my first sound set. I adore this. So this will fit on a regular card front or you can use it on a slimline card. So I tried to do it. You could use it either way. And it has all of these amazing things. And it's called thankful word collage. So there's lots of ways about being thankful and all sorts of things. And then you can, in this space here, so you can just use it as a background stamp. You can use it as a slimline stamp. You can use it on a regular card. And then you can add thanks or family. They're both sized perfectly to fit in here. So you have those options too. So um, I think that this one is super cool. So this is called thankful word collage. Then I designed this one, again, and one that I love. It's a kind of, I can't remember what this one's called, Wrapped Christmas Sentiments is the name they gave this one. So this is designed, so you can put it this way and then this way along a card and make it look wrapped. You can put it across the middle. And then it has some really lovely sentiments. So it says, you've got joy to the world, all is bright, holy night, silent night, all is bright, all is calm. So you can kind of mix and match as you want to and alternate between the lines. We believe, oh, holy night, jingle all the way, oh, come let us adore him and peace on us. So lots of different options in that one. Uh, we'll get to Alex's in a second. This is another one of mine. So this is a watercolor, and I'm going to show you my watercolor concept because it's if you got the subscription box that had that in, 
It's really, really fun. It is great to use. Um, and if you are a watercolor pro or not, there are so many different ways to use these stamps. You can use that. You've also got this beautiful wreath and you've got peace, joy, love, and family. They all fit in the middle here. And you can also build your own wreath if you wanted something bigger with these elements in it too. So lots more options on that as well. Um, Greg, they say it's a bit blurry, but that's a Greg problem, not a me problem. So Greg can come try and fix that while I'm talking to you. And then some of Alex's here, we'll get to those. Can you hold it up in front of the camera? I can hold it up in front go. of the camera. How's there that? Go. Is that better, everyone? Um, so cool. this is the other one. So these are watercolor concepts. So these all go together. So you have a, one called Slimline Splashes, and you have one called Easy Watercolor, and then you also have an option called Easy Winter Watercolor Scenes. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how to use these, because if you are anything like me, I cannot watercolor to save my life. Like I have tried so hard to get those perfect edges and all those kinds of things. So I developed this because you can watercolor with it onto the stamp. You can put water on the stamp, stamp it, and then add your watercolors. Or you can also uh, stamp it. And then if you stamp something like a pretty flower into this, you can make pretty patterns in it as well. Or of course you can heat emboss it and do anything. So it's a really versatile stamp. You're gonna use it a lot. And it is a great new uh, addition to your craft room. So you have, uh, easy watercolor, you have slimline, this is perfect for that. And then you have this one here. So this is easy winter watercolor scenes. And we did some different sentiments on there. There's a happy Hanukkah as well. So lots of different options on there for you. I'll switch this back so you can see. So you've got the three on there as well. Okay, so that's those. I also designed a couple of small ones. So this is uh, modern bold holiday sentiments. So we've got merry and bright, happy Christmas, happy holidays, warm and cozy, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, happiest of holidays. And I made these a little bit bigger. The biggest feedback I have with sentiments is that you all want bigger sentiments. So I made sure that I added some larger ones on these too. So that's another um, part of it as well. This one I think is really cute. This is um, full memories. So this is a background stamp. It's all one, so you could tile it a couple of times. You can use it in lots of different ways. And then again, I was trying to find sentiments that people, we asked our followers, what would you like to see? And you all said, have things like happy friends, Friendsgiving, happy fall, y'all, thanks and giving. It's finally full and you can stamp them on the top or of course use them separately. So again, lots of options on there too. And Greg got rid of the glare, so well done, Greg. Um, and then we have the Watercolor Witch. So you've got Happy Halloween. I love this version of Halloween here. Trick or treat. You've got some bats. And then you can do the same technique I'm going to show you, um, but with this as well. And the same with some ornaments. You can build scenes with ornaments. So you have lots of different options to play with this watercolor. And I'll show you how they work in a while. Then we have Alex Siberia's stamps. Again, if you know Alex, you know she makes some beautiful things. So this is sleigh bouquet. I mean, can you imagine coloring that in? And there is a stencil that coordinates with this as well. So you're going to want to pair those up. This is our um, Oh What Fun stamp set. And she also did these here. I'm going to show you. So these come, if you order them, you'll get a card pre-colored in. And so she shows you some different ways of how to use it for inspiration. Um, so that's there. Then this is uh, the peony. This is sketched peony. Again, really, really pretty. Lots of different options. This is Christmas cookies. And here's an inspiration of how to use it. So you can see it put together. And she also did an enamel pin, which I'm rocking on my pinny, you can see. Um, but then here you've also got joy just like this. So all of that coordinates together perfectly as well. Then you have Christmas Rose. I mean, how beautiful is this Christmas Rose? I absolutely love it. Again, and I think it's one of those you could use the whole year round too. So you have all sorts of options. And here is the poinsettia or poinsettia, uh, depending on how you say it. And again, she did a beautiful card that you'll get if you order the stamp set. So all of those are in there. And if you loved the Oh What Fun stamp set, which is back here, there is also our little bluebird that goes with it as well in an enamel pin. So you can grab the pins that coordinate and each release will have pins to go with it so that you can uh, collect them and add them to your craft room and you can add them onto your pinnies like I've done here. I have, we have a Hetty, so I'll show you her and we have a Maker Forte pin. So this is what these look like. You've got Hetty and Maker Forte on there and I have mine sitting on my apron. 
So they are the stamps. We'll come back to how to use those in a minute. And then the next thing they have are different cardstock options. So I'm missing two, but these are the 110 pound cardstock that you all love in the Hedgehog Hollow subscription boxes. And it comes in either a top fold, a side fold, a card front, a slim line, or a slim line card front. So you can have it any cut any way you want, or you can have it in full eight and a half by 11 sheets as well. So lots of different options on that. And it's super thick. We're gonna watercolor with it in a minute. I'm gonna show you how thick it is to work with. Is that the first time they're available outside of the subscription? This is the first time it'll be available outside of the subscription box. It's that really heavyweight 110 that everybody loves. Um, hey everyone who's joining, I'm trying to keep up with the comments as well. Greg is here monitoring your comments. So if you wanna ask something, you want me to show you something, you can just let him know and he'll yell. Um, and then this is another one. This is called the Perfect Blend Cardstock. So it has a sheen to it, it has a, a glossy finish to it. And the reason is, is you can see how well this blends. So I did yellow and blue and blended it to green in the middle. I did this one, this is yellow over to green. This is blue and I kind of lightened it as I went and this one is just plain red. So they'll all stay and it just gives you the most beautiful option to do it like this. So you can see how nicely this looks. Um, and it just blends amazingly. So whether you're an experienced card maker or not experienced, this will give you the best blend. It has a slight sheen so your ink stays wet a little bit longer and you will be able to blend like this. Um, yes, you can buy the pin on its own. Um, it will be, uh, you can buy it on the website right now. You can go to makerforte.com, there's enamel pins, there's everything I'm showing you here. Um, and you can find the pin in there. There's a Hetty pin and you can use the code HH15 to get 15% off your purchase as well. So really good fun. And then I forgot to show you this stamp set. So again, this is a really cool one because you can do the watercolor I'm gonna show you, but you can also just use it as a solid stamp if you want to, or you can do fun things. And then when you're done, you can put this over the top and it matches up and then you can blend in your background. So you can add the background in, or you can just use the stamp, or you can just use the stencil. So it's a really nice pairing that you can use both on. So I really like that. And we're gonna create some beautiful samples with that as well. So we have, um, hey Sarah, um, Laurie, you can go to makerforte.com. I'll get one of the guys here to put it in the comments and you can use a code HH15 for 15% off. Um, any of these amazing goodies. So let's do, let's do these simple sentiments because these are cool. So if you notice on those cards I showed you, yeah, they had these sentiments on them. So these are simple sentiments because they are sentiments made simple. Um, actually, I can do it so you can see me at the same time, just like that. So you can see me and you can see what I'm showing you as well. Stop showing off with your new toy. No, I like my new toy. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the first simple sentiment. This is the thankful one. I, I honestly, I blanked on the name. But you can see you get full sheet. They're printed on that super thick 110 cardstock. So you can alter them, mix media them, ink them, foam them. You can do everything you want with them. And you get them on white and on black. So you have all these different options to do some fun things with as well. So they're all on the website. This is um, one of the Christmas ones. So here you have, and we've tried to put not just Christmas in, but general holidays. So you'll see there's some Jewish holidays in here. There's some um, other kind of religious occasions and that in here. So we've tried to be as inclusive as we can do. And there'll be a cultured collection coming out in the next couple of months that show you more of um, some different things, things that you might want to see in the world, the card making world that um, are not here yet. So, um, and this is the modern Christmas. This is the ones I used on those cards there. And you can see again, and again, I've done small and I've done large. So whichever you prefer, I've made sure that you have everything in there that you could possibly want to create with. We also have a whole slurry of stencils and mine are well loved. These are prototypes that we have crafted and they are well loved. So this is an Alex Siberia, it's called Candy Cane Stripe. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, the one I used on here is Abstract Lines, which is, a firm favorite. So this is another Alex Siberia. This is Abstract Lines. And this is 3D background. So I'm gonna 
just, let me see if I can find a piece of dark and I can show it to you better. So this is 3D background. I'm using a piece of cardstock here. Uh, they are toner, so you can foil them if you want to, if that's what you're thinking. They are toner based. These are, this one is called Starry Sky, I think. Starry Night. Starry Night. Starry Night. It's a slimline stencil, but again, you can use it on either type of card. Um, but it's a really, really pretty design. Lots of different things you can do in there. This one I'm slightly biased, but it is my absolute favorite. It's one I designed. It's called So Acute. And I love this design with this symmetry in here. I think it's really, really pretty. This one is called Cobblestone. Let's see. I'm getting there. So this one is cobblestone and then this one is starry sky christmas stars christmas stars this is alex siberia's and this one matches slave okay which i put over to the side but this is the same stars they're on the back of the slave okay so it coordinates perfectly together so everything is about working it together and it's about collaboration not only between um, the products, but between the signature designers as well. Now, if you joined us for Hedgehog Holidays, you will know about these kaleidoscope powders. These are super cute. Look how they come in these little diamond jars. Like, they're so pretty. And I'm going to shake it like so. Some would like to know, are the greetings laser printed that can be foiled? Yes. So they are toner ink. So you can foil them um, if you want to do that. So we gave you that option. So if you want to put them through your laminator with foil, you can foil them and have that as an option too. They are printed with a really high quality toner, so they will foil really, really nicely. And they're on a nice thick cardstock too. So these are really cool. I didn't bring the swatches that Ali did for us, but I'm gonna sh I'll am gonna show you one in a second. But they look white like this, but when you put it on your cardstock, it's gonna look like green, or it's gonna look like a really fun color. Actually, I don't have to put them on cardstock. Look, I can show you my nails. My nails have five of the white powders on them. I had them done today. So I think this one is Alien. This is Shooting Star. Mm, not sure on the others. This is the gold. Um, I'll find you the names. But yeah, I have them on my nails. You can see my nails are beautiful chrome and they are these powders. You can also put them on your nails. And uh, Emily had the pink glitter put on her nails. So you can have all sorts oh, of yeah. fun. No, Greg did not get them put on his nails. <laughs> Anyway, um, so there we go. So Noreen says, welcome to the neighborhood. You are my new neighbor. Are you next door, Noreen? We haven't met. We've met one neighbor and he's British, funnily enough. I mean, of all the places we could have moved to, we moved next door to the British guy. So we have some papers and cardstocks to share with you outside. This is the uh, eight and a half by 11, the 110 pounds. You can just get it in four sheets and cut it as you want to. It will work in your Cricut, your scan and cut all of those things too. You also have the tags, like the kind of tags we use for Inktoberfest. Inktoberfest is going to be a bit different this year just because of moving and launching this, but we will be doing something fun for Inktoberfest. This is the Alex Siberia paper pack. So it's 24 sheets, double-sided, 12 designs. So you get two of each design. And you've got, I love this cover and back sheet that they did too. Um, so you have this with this on the back. So they're your two. You have this one here with the spots on the back. You have this watercolor with the flowers on the back. I think this is gorgeous for either a large card or to cut it down or for a six by six scrapbook page. You have the stripes here on the back. We have our black and white stripes with, I think this flower goes something like that. We have the scribbles with this flower on the back. We have these, I think these are so, so pretty. You have so many different options here. I love these flowers. You can see this is like the 3D background. So, so many beautiful designs in here. So you've got 24 sheets. And again, it's like a cardstock weight. It's not 110 pounds, but it's a pretty thick cardstock. So you could throw a lot at this as well. Um, and if you are looking at it, so, so Laurie just, or Lou just said about shipping, um, that's not correct. So we'll go in and have a look at the shipping for you. Um, and also if you spend $75, you do get free shipping in the USA as well. So we'll fix that for you, Lou. If you um, don't mind sending me an email, it's just alexandra at makerforte.com. I'll make sure that gets fixed for you because that's not right. It shouldn't be that. So I will look into that for you. So um, cardstock wise, we have um, 100 pound cardstocks. 
and they're gonna come, so they have a whole collection of colors. It's called Color Hive. And the reason it's called Color Hive is, it got it named because the ink pads they're going to do are hexagonal, which are really unique. They are their own formulation. They're nobody else's formulation. They're completely unique. This is their clear watermark. And this works perfectly with those kaleidoscope powders. Um, you could also, of course, use it for heat embossing, watermarking, all those things. But it's super sticky, and I absolutely love it. So, um, so you can see there as well. Um, thanks, Emily, for putting my email address on there too. Uh, so these are the 100-pound cardstock. So this is Coronation Purple. We have a British Banter collection. We have Turn Back Time, which is our neons. We have uh, Made in the USA, which is obviously our primaries. And then we have uh, pastels, which are all ice cream named. And then we're also doing a rainbow skin tones. We call that Take a Sip. So that will be coming as well. And a whole range of metallics. This one is English Mustard. This is also from our British collection. This is called Roller Skate from Termac Time. It's a really bright, bright red. You can see on there how pretty that is. Um, this one is Metallic Mercury. It has a fleck in it. And they will have labels on. There's just these, the ones I picked. The grape, and there is also another one, which is Rebellion Red. These are 60 pound cardstocks. They're a limited edition that we were trying out. And you can see what you think of these. These are 60 pound. These are great for those homemade envelopes. I saw someone asking me, Krista, these are the perfect ones for envelopes. These um, are great, but they're 100 pounds. So they're gonna be super thick and harder to score and things. These 60 pound, the grape and the Rebellion Red are gonna be perfect for that. This is Starlight Metallic, so it's a champagne metallic. This is Stormy Sky Metallic, again, absolutely gorgeous. This one is Snow Flurries White, and it is metallic. It's a little bit harder to see on there, but it is a metallic. Telephone box, after our British telephone boxes. Eclipse Black, uh, or all of the neutrals are named after weather, I should say. And this one is British Racing Green, which you can imagine who named that. Yeah, I named that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's British Racing Green. Um, so there we go. Uh, Jillian says she's a Formula One fan. Tires, tires, tires. <laughs> that makes Greg very happy. Okay, we're getting there. We're nearly there. We also have this, which I adore. So I love good tools. And you know I do tour reviews and there are things that often are miss. Well, it took me forever to decide what tools to do with Maker Forte. And we decided on these. So let me show you what we went with. So this is our powder polish brush and cleanup brush. It's great to use. It has a really pretty purple tip. It has the rainbow, the blue handle. It's all kind of like mottled. It looks absolutely gorgeous in there. It's all marbled. We have a sale. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the powder brush. So these go with the kaleidoscope powders. So the idea being, I'm gonna do a little quick demo here. Let me grab out a piece. So you can use the kaleidoscope powders on light or dark cardstock. It's gonna look the best on dark or bright colors. So if you have bright red, or bright purple, you can totally use them on those. You can also use it on white, but the white's not gonna show, but you can use things like the purple or the red or any of these on there. And these ones glow in the dark. These ones are what we call interference. These are neon. So we have all sorts of different categories in there. You can go check all of those out. But somewhere in here, I buried my ink pad. Here it is. So I'm just going to put down some ink on here. As it's super sticky, I'm going to grab, I'm trying to remember which ones are which. So I'm just going to go at random. I think this might be alien, but I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Neptune is this one. So if you unscrew. And they're such pretty little bottles too. So you have two tips. You have a more kind of bushy tip and a more stubby tip. It just depends what project I'm doing. But then you just want to touch it on like this. And you can see a little bit goes a really long way. And then clean up wise, keep a paper towel or just the back of your hand. I really don't advise you to uh, wash it because moisture is going to affect the powders. You can also use these powders for different things. You can add these powders with a little bit of water and make a thick metallic watercolor paint. You can um, take these powders and turn it in, put it in a spray bottle and make a shimmery spray of your own with water. You can also um, add these in a uh, aqua pen and turn them into paints that way. Um, so there's loads of different things you can do. And then when you're done with that, you just 
take your cleanup brush, give it a nice polish, and look at how pretty that looks. So now, of course, what we've done looks green. Now, to set it, you can either lightly spritz it with water or you can spritz it with hairspray. Either one is going to work really well. Um, I've tried both, and both work great. So that's how that works in those tools. Then there is another tool which you are going to see that we love. So this is our picker upper. So here you can see, isn't this absolutely beautiful? I mean, it's just so pretty with these gems and things in the middle. I mean, it's just gorgeous. But of course, the key part is on the inside. So on one end, you have a wax tool. So this is like your crystal katana or something like that. It's wax and it's gonna pick up all your little gems and things like that. If it loses its point, you just put it in a pencil sharpener, off you go, you have a new point on it. And then on this other end, you have my favorite crafty tool, the craft pick. So I could not live without having this. And these are the two tools I use all the time. So what's better than having it in one? You can either, you know, keep the caps on, not keep the caps on. I tend to just kind of keep it here when I'm done crafting. I might put the caps back on. We'll be realistic, but I probably don't put the caps back on. No, not a chance <laughs> the caps back on. But in theory, I can. And it does come in a tube for storage if you want to store it in here as well. Um, so that's another thing. So I love this. I think it's so pretty, but it's also super practical because we have these beautiful glitters. Now I'm trying to remember which ones are which. So I'm going to take these seals off. This one is Vegas Strip. I mean, look how beautiful. So they're a really nice fine glitter. I would call them fine rather than ultra fine. Um, so this is Vegas Strip, which is in the American Primaries uh, collection. And of course now I'm fumbling the top. This one is Coronation Purple. So again, it's gonna match that Coronation Purple cardstock. When you can't get that little thing off, just pop your craft pick in and peel it off the top. And then you have, look at that beautiful purple glitter on there. Um, oh, Pokey Pickup Tool. That's what we keep calling it. It's something like the Sticky Picker Upper. Um, something like that we keep calling it. This one is Eclipse. Now there's Eclipse and there's Black Hole. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So Eclipse is black with silver in it, like this. Really, really pretty, great for Halloween, all those kinds of things. And then there is Black Hole, which is just a whole nother stage of awesome because it has holographic and it's got red, it's got green, you can use it for your Christmas, all sorts of absolutely, like it is stunning. Go check out the pictures Greg took. He did a pretty good job with the pictures, I have to say. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, dear. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, so he takes it when it does. And it's got, Beautiful packaging on it as well. It, just pop the lid on, twist it, you'll feel it click into place. We have British Racing Green Glitter. This is the holographic, super, it's called Sugar Sparkle Moon Dust. I mean, look how, okay, I have to take the lid off this one because this is another one of my favorites. So you can see that one. I mean, it's just like a disco ball once you open it. It's so pretty. Um, so that's that. Then we have, let me see, we've got Ra Raska, which is part of our Turn Back Time collection. It's like a real bright, deepish kind of pink. And can, you can put that against Telephone Box, which is like a real strong red. We have British Racing Green again, Greg. We have Jelly Shoes. Oh, this one's Jelly Shoes. This one's British Racing Green. So you've got a deep green and you've got a turquoise green. You have Gold, which is English Mustard. You have a matte glitter. So this one is more like a... Um, sugar sparkle, like a more like a sugar crystal, I should say. This is matte orange, but it still has sparkle. Despite it saying matte, it's just a different type. It more looks like sugar than um, a pure glitter, but again, beautiful. It's just called Red Leicester. It's a British cheese. Everyone here keeps calling it Leicester. It is Leicester. We're, we're teaching one American at a time, I feel like. No, yes. Woo! <laughs> Um, and all sales at the minute, we're going to add some extra goodies in for you. So you can get some fun things in your packages too. So this is Snow Flurry. So this is a white. It is a pure white too. It has white with actual like a diamond glitter in it. So if you want to do snow and things like that, it's great for building up that texture. And we'll be doing all sorts of fun crafts with them. And then this is Telephone Box in glitter. For those of you who ask, we are doing bio glitters as well. So these are biodegradable glitters. It comes in Moon Dust, which is the silver, uh, English mustard, which is the gold, and telephone box, which is the red. And these are what we call totally awesome, eco-friendly glitters because they are made of cellulose. They sparkle just as much, but they are biodegradable, eco-friendly glitters. So they're fun too. 
And we have some confettis. We have witch's brew. So let me open this up because it's easier to see. Um, you can see there, isn't that cool? So they're round glitters, found in black, purple, and green, perfect for Halloween, just like a witch's brew. And then we have confetti stars. And this one's cool too, you'll love this. So this is that holographic black I showed you, but the confetti is bat shaped. So if you love doing Halloween projects, you are gonna love these little bats. Look how pretty they are. And they're holographic to go with it. So really, really good fun. Okay. And then we have, leave that one there. And then we have clay slices. So I'll put these on this side so I can talk you through them. We have eyes on you which is just really cute little eyes for Halloween. We have aces for you. We have pineapple upside down cake, pineapple slices. There are candy canes. There's a hot cocoa mix, which are like the round, I think candy canes, like peppermint swirls or something, peppermint swirls. They have also like chocolate little sprinkles in them. We have ladybugs. And then hmm, this one is a bat one. This is bat crazy bats, the bat clay slices. Um, uh, yeah. Batty about you. Batty. I think it's about batty. batty about you. So it's little clay bats, and you've got little circles in here, and you have the eyes. So super, super cute. Last thing I want to show you, and then I want to do some crafting because, of course, that's what we're all here for. They have envelopes. They have to match the card stocks. You've got uh, these here. You've got wood grain that are embossed. This is tropical sorbet. These are Tornado Luxury. They're super, super thick. They're gonna add some real luxury to your card making. And then um, this one here is Glossy. So this is a glossy paper-based envelope. They come in A2 and they come in number 10. So if you wanna do slimline, and you can alcohol ink on these. That's what we uh, got them for. There's also a Tyvek envelope that you can alcohol ink on. You can use your archival inks on them. So something, again, just a little bit different because you can use yeah, your alcohol inks on them, which I think is a really cool add-on and just something you can do. You can't do with many um, envelopes and things. So these are alcohol ink friendly. Obviously, don't have your card inside when you're doing it. Open up the envelope and then you can add some fun designs to it. And that is pretty much all the things. It took me a while. But now I get to show you how to use those watercolor stamps. So um, you're going to grab some of our ultra thick white cardstock. Um, Worcestershire is a funny one. Yeah, they say Worcestershire. We say Worcestershire. Like Worcestershire. Yeah. <laughs> we speak a different language. Uh, I can't access website. Can you add a link, please? Can someone add a link? Um, so will the monthly boxes now have Maker Forte products? Well, you'll have to tune in for our unboxing tomorrow to find out what's in next month's box. Hint, hint. Um, something fun in there. Uh, we do not have a brick and mortar shop at this time. We are online only. We will sell to brick and mortar shops and we have an affiliate program. So if you're a blogger and you're on hit share a sale, you can go and join the affiliate program. If you... Um, have a local store, let them know. We do accept wholesale and things so they can buy from us and they can stock it in their store because we're all about supporting the brick and mortar stores. This is a sneak peek. I forgot this was on here. You can see this is coming next month. It is a biodegradable um, stamp chamois, basically. So um, I can't remember what the name of it is. It's going to be biodegradable, eco-friendly again. We're trying to be as eco-friendly as we can, um, but these are great and you can put them in a the dishwasher. They naturally stay um, free of like smells and bacteria and things like that. So that's really great too. So that's coming. And also we'll have a stamp cleaner, which I'm going to be using here as well. Um, <laughs> five by seven fab idea five by seven envelopes can we add that to our list emily to look at emily's going to add that to our list we'll see if we can get those um uh kristen says she can't wait to see how you set up and build my new craft room yeah <laughs> <laughs> he has made me a floor i did show you some information yesterday and we'll show you other things as we go along. It's a process, we'll get there. This is the pokey tool again. So this is the craft pick on one side. It's rainbow metal, um, and then it has the wax on the other end. So if you have like a clay slice and you want to like pick it up, you just press against it and you can see it lifts it up perfectly. Gems, it'll lift up all those little things. And of course the pokey end we use for everything. We can poke out dies, we can lift stuff up. It's one of those tools we use all the time. So, um, yeah, so Fiona, HH boxes are continuing as normal. We may have a guest month with Maker Forte coming up. 
just saying. Um, you can find out about that uh, very, very soon when I do the unboxing. Um, five by seven card bases. So that must be either like a British or Australian. We don't tend, I haven't seen them in the USA, but it's definitely something we can look into doing for you. Um, so this one, we're going to use the easy watercolor, and I'm just going to show you how to do a basic one. As I say, there are tons of techniques, so stay tuned. Videos are on the way. There is a Maker Forte YouTube channel. It has no videos, but it also has no subscribers, so it's kind of sad. So if you want to go find it, you can search Maker Forte, and you can come and subscribe, um, and we'll have videos over there soon. Um, so... I'm using that ultra thick cardstock. I'm using my Misty. You can use an acrylic block. Misty just makes it a bit easier. Um, let's choose some colors that we want to use. I'm going to use peacock feathers and some pine needles and some tumble glass. Okay. So they're in there. We ship worldwide. Um, and as someone said, there was a slight issue with the shipping. If you ship, if you're in the USA, it will automatically give you free shipping at $75. Internationally, it should give you a couple of different options you can pick from. Um, but if you are having issues with it, email us, let us know. It is a brand new website. We've tried and tested it different ways. But if there's things we've missed, we will happily fix them. Um, email us if you've checked out and you think something's not right. We'll help you look into it for you. Or, you know, we'll help you in any way we can. So... I don't know yet. Subscription boxes, I can tell you, are hard. Um, but this way, a lot of people always ask me if I could sell the things in the subscription box separately. So this is a way to kind of have that happy medium. So I think the subscription box will continue to make a forte. We have thought about having an ink pad of the month as we release the color hive, so you can subscribe to those. Or maybe like a stencil of the month or things like that. So maybe there's like a color of the month club or something like that instead for make a forte. But you can let us know um, what you want to see, because ultimately we're here to serve you and inspire your creativity, so let me know what you'd like to see. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use this. Now, as I say, there's multiple ways. So you can spritz this with water, stamp it out, and then take your, you know, panned watercolors, liquid watercolors, and drop in, because the only place that watercolor is going to stay is within that water area. But this is kind of how I designed to use it. Now, I sent this to Laura Volps a while ago, and she used it in a totally different way. She did one color at a time, whereas I put all of my colors on and let them kind of muddle together. So again, lots of options to play with different things. And you can see I'm not being particularly careful where I put it. I'm just making sure. And you don't have to have the whole thing covered either. Like if you miss a bit, it's not the end of the world. We only have 110 card bases, right? Uh, all our card bases are 110 pound cover weight so they're super thick like this you're going to see i'm going to throw water at this and it's not going to break a sweat there is watercolor paper on the way it just isn't here yet. so i'm going to give this a light spritz with water not too much maybe like that much so it just kind of starts beading slightly um, you don't want it puddling like if i do this i don't want it to move so now i'm going to pick this up and i'm going to press out and i'm going to make sure i kind of manipulate my ink around and then when i lift up i have the perfect watercolor and I did nothing like it did everything for me if you want softer edges now you can just give it a spritz afterwards and your ink will naturally kind of soften on those edges too so I love this technique you've got um, shapes you can do you can do ornaments you can do a witch with this technique you can do slimline backgrounds you can do uh, the starry night sky either for Christmas or for a masculine card loads of different options you can do the wreath in the same here. You know, you can do all of these with this technique. It is amazing. I'm gonna be showing you tons of different ways to use those watercolor splashes and things. So let me know what videos you wanna see, what tutorials you want to see. There's just so many different things. This is our little chamois, you can see, I'll turn it so you can see, and it just cleans off. And it's got like these little scrubbies on it. So it really does, you know, get all those that ink out the nooks and crannies. And then we have our stamp cleaner coming up. This is a little test one I had. And you just spritz it on. It smells amazing too. Um, and again, it's just, you know, it's nasty free. It'll clean everything off. And my stamp is clean. So again, lots of fun things as well. Don't forget to go to makerforte.com. I added the link in the description below. Hit subscribe, ring the bell here at Hedgehog Hollow um, because I'm going to be doing tons of live showing you different things. You can follow makerforte at maker dot forte f-o-r-t-e online everywhere facebook instagram pinterest youtube all of those things come join us come learn some new techniques 
um, Alex Siberia. We've got another signature designer coming in October. We've got new products. So come join us. Use that code HH15. I will be back very soon because I have a hedgehog hollow unboxing to do. It's probably likely to be tomorrow because we have our first virtual trade show tomorrow as well. So it's a busy, busy time. It was the perfect week to move house. Not, but it's fine. We're here. We're still standing. We might be putting some more notice, but we are here and we are fine. Um, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your support. So many of you logged in joining us. And we can't wait to see what you create. Um, hop on over and check out Maker Forte. And if there's something you feel that you'd like to see added, like five by sevens, let us know and we'll look into that as well. So have an amazing time. Let your local stores know so they can come stop Maker Forte. They can email sales at makerforte.com and Emily will get them all set up. And if you're a blogger, you can go to share a sale and you can sign up as an affiliate and you can advertise it on the blog. We'd love to work with you. Um, so come join us. It's gonna be a creative party at Maker Forte. That's what they say. And they live by love, laugh, learn, and what's the fourth one? Love. Live, laugh, love, learn. There you go. I forgot the first one. Live, laugh, love, learn. So that's their party playbook. It's creative party. And they want everyone to say I'm a maker too. So there are products for every type of crafter. You can use these in DIY, home decor, even on your nails. So thank you for joining me. I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you again. Have a great evening. Bye. Push the fade to black button. Bye. <laughs>